guys, I'm Anthony and welcome to After Van Life. Today guys, I'm going to be fixing a lunch and I'm really excited. It's going to be a Chipotle style burrito with some chicken, uh, black beans, corn, peppers, and it's going to be really good. I need to redeem myself from that Chinese sausage video. <laughs> so what we have here guys, we have uh, some chicken thighs, skinless, boneless, some flour tortillas, some black beans. Now originally I was going to fix some white rice with this and then I remembered that I had this, which is some seasoned southwestern style rice. It all has some corn, peppers, and onions in it so I figured this probably would be uh, a lot tastier than just regular white rice. And to top everything off, guys, I have this chicken taco skillet sauce with chipotle and garlic in it. And this is what prompted me to make this type of meal today. It's from Frontera. Got this from Giants. All right, so let's get right into this. We're going to uh, wash this chicken off. Got a lot of strainer here. But before I get into that chicken, I'm going to lay down some paper towels here on my cutting board. So after I rinse it off, I can bring it here. Have me a little strainer so that I can strain my black beans with. I just bought this at the dollar store. All right, let's get this chicken on here. So yesterday's video Yesterday's video I posted you guys had uh, some thoughts on Now I'm not going to move into my uh, vehicle right away if I decide to do it Number one, my lease here is not up until September. And number two, you don't know what's going on with this coronavirus, you know. The gyms would at least have to reopen for me to even consider going back into the van life, you know. I can't imagine what those people are doing who relied on the gym, you know. I just don't know what they're doing right now. But... Those two things would have to happen before I would actually seriously consider doing it. Now, let me tell you guys something. I'm, I'm not opposed to going back and giving it another shot. I really am not. Uh, I know you guys were like, well, the, the van was bigger, this, that, and the other, and you're right. So I'm going to wash my hands so I can season this up. And you're absolutely right, but sitting in that uh, vehicle, it, it just, it felt roomy to me, you know? And you learn a lot by experiencing that lifestyle. You learn a lot. All right, let me get some seasoning on here. The thing that always brings me back to the possibility of doing the van life is it's when I start getting these thoughts of 
what is it that I want to accomplish and where I want to be in my life. And I'm just not there yet. And I've had this conversation with you guys many times before. It's an overall feeling. Now, if you're a young person and you have 30 years to work and, you know, before you retire, you're probably not going to get this. But if you are someone in my age range, in my generation, you know, you may have at some point had these same thoughts, you know. Because let's be honest, we have lived <laughs> more than half of our lives right now. <laughs> I just don't think we go. I'm going to live until I'm 100 years old, you know. So it it just uh, is sometimes a constant thought in my head, and it always brings me back to where do I want to be in the next five years, and what's the best route to get there. Put some seasoning on there. Because a lot of you guys may not remember, though, I chose to go into the van life. I may have said that before in this video. I'm just rambling on about stuff. I honestly think that I can do it again. I do. I think that I can do it again. And the reason why I think I can do it again is because I'm looking at the bigger picture. I'm looking at where I want to be and paying this rent and everything else that goes along with the rent to be in this apartment. Yes, it's a convenience. Yes, it's more comfortable. But will it get me where I want to be? You know what I mean? Will, will paying all this money every month rest of my life get me where I want to be because my money ain't gonna change <laughs> the money ain't gonna change <laughs> so I have to change other aspects all right where's that day going straighten up <laughs> the money's not gonna change the apartment costs is not going to change. That's going to get higher. And, you know, everything is going to get more expensive. And my salary, my money is going to remain the same. So, <laughs> I have to do something. And I know some of you are going to say, well, you should have kept the van. You had it paid off. I didn't want the van, okay? Before you even say it, I did not want the van, you know? And that's just the bottom line. Put some pepper in here. Get this side going on with the same seasonings. I think I should have washed my hands again because I think I flipped this chicken and didn't. Oh well. sure somebody will tell me. Y'all sure not shy about telling people stuff. <laughs> Y'all sure not shy about telling people stuff. <laughs> oh Lord, let me move my black beans over. We don't want no so many black beans. cut this chicken up and get it in this pan and I'm gonna cook this really really low and slow because I want I'm gonna use olive oil instead of uh, vegetable oil because I don't want it to fry I want it to just kind of I ain't gonna say saute because somebody told me that was the wrong use of the term <laughs> I'll put a little bit of this in here as well Somebody told me that's the, that's the wrong use of the word saute. I said, I can use it the way I want to. All right, let's cut some of this chicken up. I want that low, low baby, low. 
So we'll see what happens. But I'm not totally against giving it another shot. I really am not. Because I did it for two and a half years. You don't you don't do something because some of you may have the impression that I thought it was the most horrible experience in carrying on. But you don't do something for two and a half years if it's something you really don't like. So it wasn't a bad experience. Of course, who prefers to do it? I don't know. But we'll see. But let me tell y'all, I am leaning. If, if this coronavirus, you know, they get this underhand or whatever, get this better and things start operating a little bit more normal, I'm going to do it. Okay? So I'm not going to sit up here and pretend nothing. I'm going to do it. Yes, I am. So it all depends on the state of the world or the state of the United States and the coronavirus. <laughs> all right, let's get this chicken in here. Uh-oh. All right, one more wash of the hands, and then I'm free of that. All right, now this takes about five minutes, so I'm going to get that in the microwave now. And I'm going to get a top on here so that that can start going nice and slow. I'm going to wash this board off, get this in the microwave, for five minutes. Hopefully by the time that come out of there, that will be almost done. And once this uh, chicken is cooked and that's done, we're going to wrap it up here with some tortillas and have a nice lunch. All right, see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, the chicken has changed colors. And what I'm going to do now is go ahead and put everything in here, the sauce, the black beans, the uh, rice, and let it simmer for about 15 minutes, and then it should be good to go. So let's get this. Let's turn this down because we really want it to simmer. Get all that mixed around. I'm going to just let that part go ahead and <clears throat> start heating back up the way it is because the temperature dropped once I put the black beans and the rice mixture in there. So I'm going to let that start getting up to temperature and then I'm going to drop in this uh, sauce packet here and let it continue to simmer for a little bit longer and then onto this, this torcito tortillas. <laughs> Oh, I can't with myself. I just can't. <laughs> and I'm going to make me a nice burrito or taco, one or the other. All right. I'm actually going to go ahead and drop that in now because it shouldn't take long for this to heat back up and get back up to temperature. Maybe I should drain some of it out. Let me see if I can drain some of that out. Because I don't want the sauce to become liquidy like.
that should be okay. It's better. <laughs> I could say it's the best, but it's better. All right, let's put this in here. to drop back down and see this is going to be wet so that's uh, my concern is the tortilla I don't know if it's going to fall apart because this this seems to be a little little wet maybe if I let it simmer for a little bit longer the rice will absorb some of that liquid that's left all right, guys, let me give this a few more minutes, and then I'll come back, and hopefully it'll be ready, and I can go ahead and assemble it on the burrito. Burrito, I think I got it. Take the two sides. Fold them inward like that, and then take this side and roll it up. See that? Now, you're not going to be able to put a lot in there. I think that's ready. I'm gonna put some cheese in here so it can be gooey. Mm, this is gonna be good. And this is gonna be my Chipotle style. I'm making two of them. like the rice did absorb some of the liquid but we're gonna go ahead and put some on here I hope it don't I hope it's not too hot that it's gonna tear apart Ugh. but let's see anyway I'm not gonna put that much in there this is it two little spoonfuls all right I already feel like I put too much in there Wrap this up, take this in. Ooh, ooh mama mia, I don't think it's gonna work. I think, I think this is the furthest I can go with it. I put too much in there. But anyway, I'm gonna give this a shot and see what it tastes like. Dang, hold up. Stand up. I'm determined to make a burrito. Okay. <laughs> that's the best. That's the best I would get right there, guys. So let me go ahead and try it. This is tasty. Oh my goodness. Woo, this is really good. Mmm. 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 I'm back. I'm back, baby. I'm back. Mmm. Woo. Wow. Oh my God, this is delicious. You have to try this, guys. I'm starting to sweat. That's when you know it's good. wrap it up for today's video you should try this don't forget that packet is frontier 
Got it at Giants. It's really, really good. And as always, guys, thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my channel. I appreciate it. You guys know that. And don't forget to uh, check out my candle website. The link is in the description. And I'll see you guys the next time. This is really good. You guys should make this.